Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Egypt Old Kingdom episode number 5, I think. It could be episode number 4, I, I kind of lost count, but... Anyway, so we're right now we're saving up um, a lot of favor because we want to get to Osiris to reduce the cost of using cults. And I've been saving culture because we want to save up for unlocking the new cults so that we can start using Osiris. Now, BLX said, did leave me a comment saying that he believes it's not as efficient to do what I'm doing. I mean, he didn't put this in so many words, but basically he was saying that skipping the lower techs and trying to power power the system, power game the system by saving for higher techs might not be efficient just because um, we're missing out on those, those earlier benefits. So it is, uh, I guess basically, although I don't think he's done the math, he probably is just saying that uh, his speculation is these earlier bonuses Waiting, withholding them for longer, the dividends they would have paid um, for getting them earlier are better than getting other technology. And then, um, so I'm, that's, uh, usually that's not how it works in games. And this game is just different. So it's, I don't know if he's right or wrong, but I don't think he's done the math. I think it's just speculation on his part. It's just good to, since he's played this game a fair amount, I think it's, only fair that I introduce his pretty uh, qualified opinion, let's say. Okay, good. So let's end the turn and get closer to our technology. We explored new territory. Unfortunately, it's already occupied by the crocodile people. Looks like they, they also have this occupied. It might not be as important, whoops, for us to explore that because, I mean, basically we're not supposed to be able to see, but we can see that it's already occupied, right? So what do we do? We might not have that many other places that are interesting to explore because the best thing for us right now, wait, oh, we're exterminating lions. Okay, good. Wait a second. If we don't exterminate these lions, might they kill the other workers? I don't know if that's how it works or not. But that would actually be a benefit. <laughs> you know, leave the lions there so that they can kill the uh, the other tribes' people. Let's go here um, and explore. I do need more mountaintop. I th maybe I don't even have the ability to use any other mountaintop. Huh. I mean, not mountaintop. What am I talking about? Hills. We need more hills so that we can build a, a barracks and we're, we keep getting this weak army thing and they do give you a little bit of like oh here's a place where you can build a barracks and it's only one place in the entire map I think which qualifies right now which is not a good sign because we have other stuff we need to build on a hill especially in particular I should say a temple I think a temple can only be built okay so build a temple you must discover that we did that build a temple on any vacant hills yeah this requires a lot of resources. They provide us with some otherworldly support. Okay, this is interesting. This is the importance of temples historically, I guess. All success and misfortune were attributed by the ancient Egyptians to the actions of supernatural forces. That makes sense. Ancient Egyptians had a complicated relations had had a complicated had complicated relations with their gods, which was quid pro quo. They exchanged sacrifices for divine patronage. They thought that the gods required assistance from humans as well, just like how humans need divine protection. Temples were the houses of gods on earth, their high walls safely hiding priestly evocations from the evil eye. Hmm. And I don't know what this really told me, though. I mean, historical background, that wasn't too surprising. I, I kind of... I, I don't know, did I realize the Egyptian history actually thought gods needed help? I may not have known that. Okay, anyways, let's just keep pushing on. Oh, we did it. We can domesticate. We absolutely will. So this costs 10 food, but it's worth it. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll do that. It's the food's done. We've domesticated it. So now we can get rid of these swamps and we definitely will. And look at this. Plus 
0.4 favor for the rest of the game. So we're going to get you know plenty of turns of that, which is great. Oh, looks like the leopard people have decided to hit the, the river, the Nile. All right, with that done, let's clear the swamp. This is just going to be kind of a waste of time, but after this, we'll be able to build, uh, I don't know, probably grain fields or something there. Probably grain fields. Okay, good. And we actually slaughtered these lions, which is it's also good news. And we have two hills. Well, this is good news. And we have antelopes, which we need to immediately worship. Okay. So things are coming together. I probably will build the, the barracks here. I don't know what I will build here. Or maybe I do need to build the barracks here. Whatever we um, put in this hill spot, we want we want it to be something which we want to work a lot. And the barracks, you only want to work it if you want people. So when you don't want people, you don't need the, to work the barracks. Because it doesn't offer a lot of benefits. Um, so let's we'll just have to take a look at our options. Temple, we, well, okay, we do need to build a temple eventually. That'll probably go here then. And... Well, this will go away, I assume, when we build something there? Probably. Um, we don't want to build any cemeteries. We don't need any more workshops. <laughs> My, for the love of God. Yeah, so this is just not that great, right? It only offers us plus two barracks growth, which I guess is still important. We may need to just work one barracks for the, for the rest of the game. Maybe I'll just commit to that, because there's... I mean, you do interact with these tribes, and you have uh, these armies and stuff. So, you know, getting a better army, we should probably prioritize it. And then the house, we, we won't be using. I mean, we could actually use more um, people, but... Yeah, we'll wait. Maybe we can build a house here. Which is actually pretty cool that we have both of those. That's, I'm sure, why I'm working that spot. It's a good number. Okay, so let's... What else do we want to do? Nothing else, I think. We need the technology 310. 310. Okay. Okay, we have another... Ooh, this one looks good. Floodplain, so it's... Yeah. Hyenas, which are in good relation. And fertile ground. Okay, so let's do this, and let's put this theory to the test that we can win the hyenas over. Maybe they won't have any negative... Uh, qualities, I mean, I'm sorry, maybe they won't even have any positive qualities. It doesn't look like they offer anything positive, we can see. But if we choose to spend nine turns, we can get the plus 0.4 favor whenever we're working this low floodplains, and since it's fertile ground, we'll be working it for the rest of the game. So for 10 food and 10 turns, I think it's worth it to get 200 turns of lots of favor. Okay. And that should be the last turn before we can finally get the cult. Good. Okay, this is probably not interesting. Let's do this thing which we've been waiting to do for a long time. New cults. State cults and ceremonies beca became a foundation for consolidating the king's power. Great. Oh! Oh! Okay, this was, oh, just improving it to good. Okay, this this is a huge investment. <laughs> We've discovered this. To consolidate the king's power, a mighty state cult was created. This cult was based on the idea of monarchical divine authority. The king became the chief me mediator between men and gods. Okay, interesting. And more importantly, we now can do this. And we're just going to worship Osiris a lot. What? It only works down to 20. <laughs> well, that would have been good to know a long time ago. Well, then we just keep doing Seeker and Osiris. It just, it alternates forever. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So we didn't really min-max this well. You can see I've never actually done this to the point where we could get down to 20. And this new territory, it's not very useful. 
Okay, so we can't build anything here. We do have plus two. I mean, but this 1.3 food is just nothing compared to working uh, at pretty much almost any other place. So yeah, 1.2 is the pretty much the base amount of the floodplains before we even build something. If you build either of the flax or the grain, you get a huge benefit out of it. So I don't think we'll ever work that. So and with, I mean, with that being said, what's the benefit? Can we kill this thing? It gives us. Oh, interesting. Ten food for killing it. Let's not use it quite yet. Let's keep exploring. But we'll keep that as a backup, that if we ever need 10 food in a hurry, in a pinch, we can go and slaughter the antelopes. A hunt in wadi. You have sent a worker to hunt in a wadi. Wadi is a seasonal stream, only f full of water during the wet season. You cannot build here, as sweeping torrents will eventually destroy any building here. Okay, interesting. When they said we sent them to hunt in a wadi, this is what they meant. So... I guess that's the seasonal stream. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Looks like that would also be a seasonal stream, but anyway. Okay. Um, and by the way, this looks like it's two different places. I probably should explore that next, since that doesn't look like it's just the river. It looks like it's the coastline. So it might have something in interesting for us. All right, now... Barracks wise, we want to do that as soon as we. Okay, so antelope to barracks. That's what I'm predicting here. The temple, we probably won't work a whole lot. I'll probably even destroy it after we build it. So that's gonna go here. And we have a lot of this production, so what if we, instead of doing that, actually just. Okay, first of all, the. This is gonna get us three a turn. I think it's worth it. We're going to lose it anyway. Hmm. Oh man, it requires three hammers and three food a turn. My goodness. Maybe we will have to work that indefinitely. That's... That's brutal. I need time to think. <laughs> I need time to think. Wow, jeez. Okay, one more turn to think. Is this fertile? Is this clay? Yeah, so we know what we'll build here. Um, should we just be going from the very beginning? I think this is a great one for us to discover anyways. We want the hammer growth. We want, well, the house limit is, I guess the house limit is actually really useful. We're at our limit anyway. Do we have any um, settlers we want to acquire? I think we already acquired all of them. Or people, or whatever. So, copper smelting. Okay, so we've embraced the metallurgy skills of nearby tribes. Another generation has departed. I'm not particularly thrilled by that. It's just a huge, <laughs> huge favor amount, which keeps going up and up and up. They want more and more. Um, okay. Okay, that's good. We'll probably build the flax fields here for the good clay. Yeah, that's. I think we'll just do that right out. And when we get enough food, I think, you know what, probably we gotta hunt this. Give us the food to immediately get another worker and then we can begin exploring. Okay, so the next opportunity we have, we'll do the, since we already spent the points on the flax field, we'll get that. And then we'll probably like eliminate this guy who's, I mean, this is gonna be way better than a lot of the tiles we're working right now. Swamp drain, very good. So this is, oh, it's gonna be very good. It's producing a lot of food. Hmm.
basically it's a tough call for me which one I should make use of here. Like this is definitely gonna be a grain field. This is definitely gonna be a flax field. So we have one, two, well, this is grain, sorry. One, two, three, so uh, one and two. I thought we had two flax fields. Wait, where the hell? We don't really have that many. These are the only two I guess we have? Huh, I thought we had more flax fields. These are both grain. But hammers are not really something that we're short on, and we could use the food, but this is gonna give us more food anyway. So if we do flax, it'll be kind of like in between. Um, it'll give us a little bit of hammers because of the flax, but it also is providing a pretty good amount of food since it has the plus three from the wild fowl. Uh, this is gonna be fertile land. Okay, let's do the flax here. Uh, if we do food, we can convert food to hammers with favor. So I should be doing probably a lot of food. Okay. I'm getting close to convincing myself that this is gonna be a grain field now. Like these two don't matter, these are just basic, right? Ah, gosh. We already have two grain fields right there. And that's another grain field. Okay, let's do it, let's make it flax. Okay, so we'll do Seeker again. All right. And uh, like I said, the next person we can, we'll probably take these antelopes so we can get another worker. And with that, we'll end the turn. Wow. Very impressive. Oh. Excuse me. Another caravan so we can get, oh, oh my goodness, that's great. And that is absolutely worthless, so we'll be doing this. Okay, we have the food, we can get one of these. That was so worth it. Now we don't need the antelope food. We will instead... Should we build the temple? My god. So many things to do. Okay, this is gonna provide food as well. So yeah, I still think the barracks is the right thing because that means the barracks will be providing favor, food, and whatever the barracks normally provides, which is, I think, a hammer. Mm, uh, it doesn't say, uh, I guess it's only plus four military per turn, which I mean, I, oh, of course, that's really good. So every time Osiris comes up, we'll use him. Okay, that's good. And what else should we use our food for? These things might be inefficient, like this 1.3 and 0.1. I'm starting to believe something like that is not efficient. Yeah, this is good for food, but it doesn't... Right, that's why I'm working it though, because I want food right now more than anything. I basically have enough hammers for whatever else I need. But with that mentality, actually, I should be stopping him from working here and instead get him to work the stuff which is fertile ground. So, actually that one's already worked. You know what, let's just explore this land just to clear up all the, you know, the missing places. 
did that. We built the flax fields, which is good. We will work those because they're 1.2 and 0.9, which is, I know the hammer situation is like well in hand, but still, why, this is just, it's 2.1 versus 1.4. Very, very hard to overlook that. So, kind of wish we had made this instead of grain field. Not that we can't switch them. We can switch them whenever we want, but I would be doing grain fields from here on out, I think. We just have so many hammers coming from these workshops. Okay. Good. So I, I've come up with some policy then. And that's still a lot of food to have left over. Which I think we can ex we can ex um, expend that. So we have no technologies over there which haven't been done. The first one we have is this one which will give us more growth. And even more growth. And even better for the barracks. Wow, okay. Three more turns, no, four more turns. Is it 3%? It's 3%, yeah. Four more turns, which means five more turns because we need to give them the 10 food to domesticate. No, no, that doesn't require a turn. I keep thinking that that requires a turn, it doesn't. That you can just do right away. So... The barracks will be here and the temple will be here. I have. I think I'm just going to decide this. Is the three hammers per turn worth it for the lack of food? That is the troubling question. It's a difficult one. Tough one to answer, I think. Is it four turns? It's four turns that we're not doing anything. Oh, okay, yeah. For a second I thought that this said production of other resources will be halved. And then I was like, okay, we're getting some food, but no, I mean, the. I don't think the four turns is worth it. <sighs> this game really makes you make tough decisions. Well, plus 10% uh, technology, that would be fantastic as well. Lots of hills that we, th I mean, lots of stuff we'd like to build on hills. <laughs> Oh my goodness, lots of stuff. Ah, so difficult. We're losing 4.7 to spoilage. Yeah, it's ridiculous. We should absolutely only be doing food stuff right now. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to get him to explore instead. We're not going to even do anything with this hill yet. But we do need to build a temple soon. Okay, well, you know what? I take it back yet again. We're just going to build the temple. Just do it. It's going to take a lot of hammers, which is good, because we're just burning those to spoilage anyway, right? So that we don't need this. It's nice that we... It would have been nice to keep, but there's no way I know how to keep it, so... I'm committing. And there it is. It's gone. Okay, we destroyed it. Uh, I know, it sucked, but I think we had to do it. And that is beautiful, 1.5 and 0.6. Yeah, it's actually just a, almost exactly in the middle. A little bit low on the food, but that's a great, that's a great little tile. Um, we did this exploration, very good. That is costing us a lot of production. Makes sense. We're almost to the point of these antelopes being friendly. That's great. So probably explore some more. And we do have three technologies. So metalworking is going to give us more hammers. This might be even more important, but... I mean, we're going to get a lot of hammers and a lot of luxury goods from this. Our barracks hasn't kicked in yet, though, so... Probably the benefit we get from this is better just in terms of food since food is actually kind of an issue so let's do this or we could take favor yeah this is um we're losing a lot of the stuff that is made here to spoilage anyway so in fact of all the things i think i'll do the favor growth first which has no decay okay very good and we need we need a barracks so that we can have plus one civilians, but yeah, that's still 
three more turns away. Not bad, we'll, we'll soon have that. Okay. And the turn again. As soon as we're low on hammers, the great news is we can just work our workshop, which we currently aren't using, so... Okay, Osiris has already been used, so let's use Seeker. Back and forth will go between those two indefinitely, forever. Um, let's actually take a look at the other Colts. I don't think I've done that on camera, so this used to be the last one we knew. I know that Osiris is great. Let's see what else we can do. Effects of negative events minus 50% during six turns. Okay, so it's a six turn. It's temporary. We don't want to use it ever. Power of enemies minus 20% barracks for, I mean, military strength for six turns. Could be an emergency measure. Some of these might be good emergency measures. I think this one's pretty good, actually, as an emergency measure. Like Horus. 20% tech and 10% military. Hammer and luxury, very, very rare. I would say that you'd ever want to use that, so. Okay, then we have growth. Oh, this just helps indefinitely. Now that is something we should consider rotating in as well. Seshat. Hathor increases food growth every turn. Well, that is hugely important. Okay, we might have to take a break from Seeker for a little bit and move on to Hathor. We worship Hathor as the goddess of cattle and any material wealth. Well, let us worship her in earnest. <laughs> and then effective positive events plus 80% for six turns. Ra, the sun god. And Thoth, who I think he's pretty... A lot of these are... Well, Horus and Ra look very similar. My goodness, I guess you have to... Ra is a sun god. He has a sun on his head. Is that what... <laughs> it's not, but I can pretend. Looks like a cobra. Still, it's uh, kind of sunnish. And Horus is... I don't know what he's the god of. Egypt's, Egypt's warriors? Uh, I don't know. He, some kind of guiding guy. Doesn't matter. Thoth, I've seen this funny looking guy for a while as well. They just put, looks like a pelican <laughs> head on a human. He gives us plus one per, whoa, plus one percent technology. That's great. Okay, so we should be prioritizing favor so that we can get a lot of these other things going. Yeah, that's my new philosophy for for technology. That technology is, can actually lead to, um, if we use it to get favor, we can get more technology with favor. So there's, ah, there's so many interesting back and forth little dynamics here, but yeah. So two more turns, two more turns. Very good. Okay, so this Highlands will most likely be used just for pasture. Now pastures aren't that great right now. Plus three, uh, point three and point three which gives us 1.1 and 0.5. So 1.1 and 0.5 is basically the same as this house, for example. Not that great. I'm not sure it's worth doing there, but um, for example here, whenever we get the antelopes and the aurochs, that will be a fantastic place for a pasture. Still, let's, let's keep exploring. This is obviously something different right here. So maybe it's another wadi but we'll find out only by exploring and we have colts okay so we'll do the osiris one next because it's 20.5 so we'll get back to 20. now we have to think about what to do with the other ones it's also important to think about at some point maybe around turn 200 plus we should stop using osiris because um it costs 20 times to reduce it by 0.5 which means that you expect 40? You need to get 40 of these benefit out of it? Actually, it's an integral. It's not something... I'd have to think about that. The math is escaping me, but I... Okay, let, let me just do the reasoning out loud. It would cost... So, I mean, you click this once to get 0.5. But it's not exactly true, right? Because you can't get... Um, you can't get 40 of these guys out of it since the cost increases every time. So it would only be 40 out of it if the cost was 20 for all of these. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe the math really is that simple, but... But it's not for the reason I think. 
have this uh, nagging feeling that I'm missing something in the math. So, but I, uh, a wise person once told me never do, never do uh, math on camera. So, our ruler has informed us that Ta is satisfied with the new temple. The sight of this magnificent building heralds rising glory for our tribe. We are now a power to be reckoned with. So we have a one-time boost of favor. Quest complete, creation of a chiefdom. Our influence is growing to ensure future prosperity. The gods call upon us to unite all the people in the region under the power of our wise horse. Goal, unite all the tribes of the region. We have already united zero out of six. Wow, that's a lot. Reward, growth plus three, plus one hammers, plus 0.5 every day. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Our next target are the cat people. How should we act? What? Where are they? 25 versus enemy 45. Um, we should just unite them with the, this resource, which we have an amazing amount of. Wait, what's this? Oh, assimilation cost minus 20% at the cost of hammers, which we have actually not too many of right now. Let's use that once and that reduces. So 10 hammers reduces the cost by four. And if we do it again, 20%, it'll only reduce by three. So let's just go ahead and, and assimilate there. Great. So this one is now at, it's only at 15. It's not bad at all. I think we'll just assimilate immediately. Um, this is 30, so this is definitely worth it. We will use 10 hammers. It's down to 24, we'll use it again. It's down to 20. Okay, we'll use it one more time, which we can't do this turn, but uh, we'd have to actually gain. Okay, let's examine. Whoa. Oh, oh, we actually gained the fig people. <laughs> Good gracious. Here, here they are. <laughs> and we can domesticate the. Oh, this, this is a very busy turn. Domesticate. Wow, we got minus 2.5 from overpopulation. Oh, heck no. Oh, boy. Um, please tell me one of these is the plus one people per house. It's not, but we domesticate this so we can get a barracks, which is exactly what we need now because it'll give us that one house. Okay. Three turns. Damn it. Uh, that's, well, we're, we're going to need it, right? So let's just get going with it. Now, what you can see is the temple would probably have to work it indefinitely as well. It's three favor, for crying out loud. It's three favor. It's just, that's really hard to get around. We domesticated them, very good. We built the temple, okay, great. We have a population, not great at all, minus 17%. Lack of materials. Uh... Oh, but we can get around that by just doing that. So lack of materials, the thick people have joined us. Yeah, we got it. Unfortunately, they're, they're really actually not helping. <laughs> so let's, where else are the thick people? Flint. Wait, is this? Oh, it's Highlands. Damn it. Plus 20%. So if we put somebody here, what are the options? Cemeteries, which give us 0.8 favor. No, absolutely not. Or pasture. So probably we build a pasture here. Unfortunately, that we can't actually spend the, the whatever, the hammers for that that we need. So we'll put him working. You know what? Boy, it seemed like kind of an obvious choice at <laughs> the moment I thought about it. Grab a second. Um, now, the growth seems really important. So does the hammers. We have a real conundrum. Why is this so bad? Oh, minus 15, point, minus three from overpopulation, minus three from building upkeep. Okay, so we just really, really need to get that going. So we'll just worship uh, Hathor now. Hathor's gonna be the, the goddess of choice for a while. And the overpopulation certainly isn't helping. Okay, so we did this. All right, things have just gotten very exciting very quickly. <laughs> and we have another technology. Okay, this is important. This is one and then plus 0.3 and 0.2. 0.3 times three. Or 
Over here times three, plus one. So that's two, basically. And then 0.6. Two and 0.6 versus 0.2 times one, two, three, four, five. So it's two as well. We're basically in exactly even in benefits. Huh. Well, if we're exactly even in benefits, then the earlier one should be more important because it should cost less technology. But it doesn't really matter because we get one and it'll take us the same amount of time to get to the other. <laughs> I guess we should do this one, in fact, because we'll get to this one faster. Which contradicts what I just said, yes. <laughs> I know, I know. Pastures point to. If we had any pastures, this would tip us over the edge. We got a barracks. This, okay, so let's do this. And then we're going to have the barracks. Once we get the barracks, the other one will make more sense. We're good. We're not doing so poor now. And you know what? I think we're actually going to have to do. Stop. Keep clicking on the wrong one. I think we're actually going to have to simulate them without using hammers. We need the hammers for other stuff, so we should just assimilate them now. But that might overpop- wait, who's the scorpion people? They are not here. I do not see scorpion people, I see leopard, and I see crocodile. So we'll wait, I don't think it matters too much. Like, what benefits, or what does this do for us? Okay. We can use force. By the way, I didn't even check that as an option, but probably if they have a, if it requires a lot for us to assimilate, it probably, oh, they only have 36. Eh, it's not worth it. Then we have to fight. So let's just assimilate. We have all this luxury goods. It's just 10 hammers to get uh, four luxury goods. Seems like it's very worth it. It's gonna take two turns. Yeah, because we have other other ones to consider. So let's just make sure we're really working all the hammer tiles, though. How close are you? You're getting closer. Now, we don't want anybody exploring. We could actually use the hammer stuff immediately. Point two. Well, probably this one then, right? We'll actually work it. We won't be doing the hyenas, although, yeah. I would otherwise usually like to get the favor up for those first, but right now it's, uh, we have high priority. Ah, it's not even, it's not, you know what? It's not gonna help. We need factors of 10. Seven versus 6.6, .6, it's, uh, it's identical. Actually, if this was 6.7, it would be exactly identical. We... Six point, uh, we're gonna be 0.1 short in three turns from getting to 20. But spoilage will go up as well, so that's actually not true. Uh, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. It's three, yeah, we are in big trouble though, unless we can get... <laughs> A lot of growth very quickly because well, I, I mean forget about the hammers we're really suffering on the growth front really suffering 1.3 that's useful who else I think we just worked that 1.3 and 1 That, or it's 1 and one and 0.5. Nah, I think this is better. Okay, so we saved ourselves. I think we'll have enough time to correct this. And every time we can use um, the cult help, uh, we'll be getting... It, it'll stave off the ultimate defeat <laughs> due to growth. So, okay, let's end the turn and then probably call this episode to a close. So we did not get to turn 100. I want to crank to a turn 100. Okay, let's domesticate the hyenas. Oh god, no, we can't. <laughs> Cancel that. Give us the 1.8 food. We can't domesticate because... Oh, we can. So if we domesticate, we'll actually be positive on growth. 
then we can do it. Yes! Okay. I was a little worried about that. Uh, we need one more turn before we can colonize. And then we can use our, our luxury goods. Yeah, this was probably a mistake sending them there, but I, I should have been doing resources stuff, but that's okay. We make uh, one mistake, it's fine. Yeah, that, I think we'll put them in the one... In the... This might be better, then. Hammers are becoming more important. Okay, let's do that. Good, he found... Yeah, it is another wadi. Weighty wadi, I don't know. Royal Hunt, our glorious king to uphold his mighty bull title. He decided to go hunt some animals in the countryside. This time hyenas are his quarry. Hunting is a dangerous pastime and carries a risk of death for our beloved Horus. Hunt's chance of success, 96%. Um, that's great. Tell him yes. One time plus 10 versus one time plus 10 and hyenas will perish. These hyenas are annoying. Yes, I want them to perish. I mean, 86% chance of success is pretty good. Although I don't know what Death of King is and it doesn't sound good, so let's just do Hunt. <laughs> with 99% chance of success, yeah. It's, I guess I would basically call that a guarantee, although if you played XCOM, <laughs> you know it's not true. Okay, so we have to worship Horus next first. And then we can do Hathor again. Do we need to do Hathor? Or should we just continue? Seeker should be the choice for everything whenever it's not really obvious what we need otherwise. Because he's going to give us the ability to use the other ones more. So probably we should just do Seeker again. I mean, we're doing well. Food, yeah, okay, food is kind of a concern. Hmm, let's do Seeker right now because we're overpopulated. Oh, that's right. This is going to take eight. Who do we have who's working a, a nonsense tile? Uh, we actually could use the hammers. <laughs> it's not very often that we could use the hammers, but we could use the hammers. Okay, that guy's going to... We're going to need food soon, too, to pacify that one. 1.2.5. Let's pick this one up just for a second. Okay, there we go. Put him back down. We need this one instead. That's cutting it really close. And 1.5. So we will do, uh, have this done in three turns at 1.5. I think, I think we can make it work. I think we can make it work even by doing it once. We're going to do it. Yeah, so now it's down to minus one because of the whole spoilage thing. I get, this game basically requires you to really take advantage of the spoilage thing. And 15, we can... Uh, we don't want to take care of the crockpot people. What is this? Oh, it's houses! Oh, it's houses! We do want them. And we want them immediately. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It worked. Okay, fantastic. Okay, great. And this is a great place to call things to a close. At the beginning of the next episode, I'm going to have to kind of figure out what we did in this one at the very end here, because that was a, a violent rush to the finish, in my opinion. Pretty exciting. This is, this is a really nice game. So we have uh, room for three more people now, which is really nice. We actually needed it. And this could be a hilltop as well, which we could use for other important things. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I'm a little over on time, even. Thanks for watching, and until the next one... Take care.